Meditations is a book by Marcus Aurelius, who was the Roman emperor from A.D. 161 to 180. The book is a collection of different passages he wrote to himself in his private notes. I'm going to read you some of my favorites. And for each, I'd like you to try to pause and see if they have any meaning to you. Try to understand what he meant when he wrote it, and if you relate to it at all. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Book 2. Passage 1. When you wake up in the morning, tell yourself, the people I deal with today will be meddling, ungrateful, arrogant, dishonest, jealous, and surly. They are like this because they can't tell good from evil. But I have seen the beauty of good and the ugliness of evil and have recognized that the wrongdoer has a nature related to my own, not of the same blood or birth, but the same mind and possessing a share of the divine. And so none of them can hurt me. No one can implicate me in ugliness, nor can I feel angry at my relative or hate him. We were born to work together like feet, hands, and eyes, like the two rows of teeth, upper and lower. To obstruct each other is unnatural. To feel anger at someone, to turn your back on him, these are obstructions. Book 5, Passage 3 If an action or utterance is appropriate, then it's appropriate for you. Don't be put off by other people's comments and criticism. If it's right to say or do it, then it's the right thing for you to do or say. The others obey their own lead, follow their own impulses. Don't be distracted. Keep walking. Follow your own nature, and follow nature along the road they share. Book 4, Passage 19 People who are excited by posthumous fame forget that the people who remember them will soon die too, and those after them in turn, until their memory passed from one to another like a candle flame, gutters and goes out. But suppose that those who remembered you were immortal and your memory undying. What good would it do you? And I don't just mean when you're dead, but in your own lifetime. What use is praise, except to make your lifestyle a little more comfortable? You're out of step, neglecting the gifts of nature to hand on someone's words in the future. Book 4, Passage 20 Beautiful things of any kind are beautiful in themselves and sufficient to themselves. Praise is extraneous. The object of praise remains what it was, no better and no worse. This applies, I think, even to beautiful things in ordinary life physical objects, artworks. Does anything genuinely beautiful need supplementing? No more than justice does, or truth, or kindness, or humility. Are any of those improved by being praised, or damaged by contempt? Is an emerald suddenly flawed if no one admires it, or gold, or ivory, or purple? Liars, knives, flowers, bushes. These passages from Marcus Aurelius's meditations provide timeless wisdom that can be applied to our modern lives, reminding us to cultivate resilience, maintain perspective, and uphold our values in the face of adversity.